Hello, good morning guys. Uh, I'm filming this vlog because we have a delivery of our baby's furniture. I'm really excited. So right now the day people just arrived and they're going to bring it upstairs and assemble it for us because it actually extend the guarantee of the furniture. And then I'll be able to show you the room. I am really happy for this to be happening right now because everything I have for the baby is literally in two luggages. I wanted to wait until the furniture has arrived to wash them and then and put them into the furniture. Workers are setting up the room right now. I just want to show you what I pre-made before they came. <laughs> this is what I did. I measured the room and the furniture. I used a website that was free to set up the room virtually so you know everything would fit and how they would fit. And so this is how it's gonna be 2D version and then I made it into like a 3D version. Hi guys, so shortly after the furnitures were delivered, I started to feel sick. Was pretty sick for like the whole week until now. I think you can still hear it in my voice that my nose is stuffy, but I already feel much better, so we're back. This week, I am 33 weeks pregnant. I want to unpack and then start to store them into the furnitures. I brought back quite a lot of stuff from Taiwan, and we also have been receiving uh, gifts from friends and family from the baby registry. Nothing has been unpacked unless it's like small package. And I'm pretty excited to open things up to see and touch the things that we already have. I can have a more clear idea of what we still need to get. We are setting up this nursery for middle of January. However, we are planning to move for uh, professional reasons to another region. So I know that this nursery will only be set up like temporarily for one to two months. And I have to keep this in the back of my head. I I don't want to unpack too many stuff and I want to make things easy to move so this is like the tricky part I just have to first get started and then we will figure it out so on today's agenda I want to wash the baby clothes I do have a few things that uh, I want to figure out how to use one is like diaper trash can also we have received a bottle warmer I want to designate places uh, where I will store stuff for baby and also I have some stuff for myself which is something that we do in Taiwan the tradition of uh, sitting the month which means that I will really take good care of my body after I give birth my parents are actually coming to friends for this reason so I have a lot of stuff for that purpose this nesting video will be like let's say 70% ready but it's gonna help me mentally now I'm going first to eat lunch and once that's done I'll get started We are having beef glass noodle soup. I made this a while ago and it's a freezer meal. It looks so good. Can't wait to dig in. So I realized I didn't show you guys the complete room after delivery. So this is baby's dresser, the crib, some bigger packages here. I have a couch here. And then the changing table. So I am mainly tackling this and this one. I actually don't think we will use this bed at all. Our friend have gifted us a co-sleeper, so I think we will be using that as baby's bed while we are still here and then really set up this bed after we moved. Here are like some of the bigger packages that we received and then those two luggages full of smaller stuff. So here we have the mattress. How do you say this? Play mat, activity gym. Here we have the high chair. This is a set blanket. This is a uh, for the mattress. It goes with this. The portable bed, and then we have the changing mat. This I'm gonna open. I'm just gonna put stuff away. The stuff that we will not be opening in the crib, so it takes up less space because the room is not very big. And there is a visitor checking out on the stuff of her brother All right. first set up the changing station it looks really nice on our changing table 
So this is like a standard German size and in France it's smaller, about this size. This is why there is a lot of room around it. I'm going to fit a lot of stuff that will be necessary for changing baby. It's not a changing mattress that needs to have a cover. It can be wiped and it's waterproof. You feel alive, let's hit the dance floor. Don't work too hard, my break a backbone. Return to the Mac, the king is back though. Corvette and cash, I never like those. She saw the stone, you know how that go. Fatality, my diamonds that cold. Versace trunks, I hit my backstroke. Knock on the door. She at the back, bro. All I really take is a little taste. I like girl blue eyes with a little bass. Here for the thrill, I don't need a taste. Sir, wanna buy back, get away. Here are all the stuff in my first luggage. So I got clothes here, I got some uh, lunch, a few toys, the sleeping bag. Just to show you. Look at this. It's even cuter. <laughs> this is a swallow blanket. Hangers, teeth and ring, chopstick, pacifier. This is for the stroller. This is for washing the bottles. Care supply for baby. And then a toy. And now let's open the second luggage and try to find space for everything on the floor. Tell me four way, don't step out the line like this a pro day. You hit the line and try to locate. This was the time, got time for no day. One, too many, I'm going. Two, too crazy and I got bad ones and they ready. A good time, so now it's in the whip, we left there. Can't remember anything, but I know we got lit. I thought I have more stuff, but it doesn't seem that much once you put them in the furniture. I thought I was finished. And then I remember I have another box under the couch. But seriously, this <laughs> putting things away is pretty physical for me. <sighs> really think we're seeing things. Read the line in between. Yellow light, I gotta speed up. Get home, so we go shower. Need that. Pronto. Look, look, look like a rave at the condo. Heck of a night in Toronto. She said, boy, you in Morocco. Pearl White mentioned in the top go. Fill up my cup with the pot, whoa. High off life in the spot, though. Running at the visa, really talking to a real life. As I really don't know how is the best way to store this kind of stuff. This is for cleaning their eyes, nose, and ears. I don't even know. <laughs> I think I'm gonna leave them in this drawer while I figure out what and how is the best setup. And it goes. All right. Let's imagine they go here. Ta da! Baby is really pressing upward. I feel like I'm not breathing properly. Anyway, as far as putting things away goes, everything has sort of found a place now. Just having his clothes hung up, it's so cute. And also I want to find some like a drawer divider, maybe from IKEA. I have some that I'm using for myself and I find them pretty useful. So for baby's tiny stuff, I like to have them all stand up so I have a clear view of where everything is. I just wanna have fun, clap my hands, turn around now and dance, dance, dance. I just wanna have fun, clap my hands, turn around now and dance, dance, dance. I, I, I just wanna have Hello. fun, clap my hands. Uh, yesterday I didn't film and I didn't get to do any of this arrangement because we had a few appointments at the hospital. It's the eighth month echo. I also had an appointment with the midwife and the anesthesia. So everything went well. The baby's head is already down, he's in a good position. We also set a induction date. As my parents are coming, the doctor is pretty comprehensive about that. So this is how it happened. When we were about to finish our appointment, I was like, wait, last time we said we were going to set up a deadline for the eventual induction date. He was like, oh, okay, so uh, you can choose any day starting from the January. I'm like, Oh, just like that. And I felt like this kind of pressure somehow. I don't know why, but it kind of freaked me out. After he said that, he looked at me. Uh, my partner looked at me and they were like waiting for me to say something. And I was like, uh, how about of January? He's just like, okay, the it is then. So of course the baby can come before that. He's uh, mature starting from 37 weeks. He can come anytime, but in case that doesn't happen, on the we will go to the hospital. It sounds crazy. It's like we're going out to have a a whole new human being with us. Yeah, so definitely a good idea to set up the room as much as possible. I still have some other stuff that I want to wash and put into here, but I think that would be it. So let's get to it again. 
So it's actually getting a bit dark. I just want to quickly talk about the diaper trash can. So here it is. To, to be honest, it's actually pretty easy to set up because everything is explained on this sticker. It took me literally maximum 10 minutes to understand how to use it. But I will just quickly show you. This is the trash can itself. It's already set up. When you open it, it looks like this. Um, so here, this is the part where it's a bit weird to understand for the first time. So this part, this part is actually a separate part that you can buy. So it looks like this. When you want to use it, you put it in this hole, take out the top here, like this, and then you tie a knot. Once you tie a knot, it creates a sort of bag shape, and then you pull it under. Once you pull it under, here is like a little hole where you can attach the knot, and then it creates a bag. And then you put the lid back on. So here is where you're going to throw the trash. Here, you can twist it till it clicks, you just close it. So with this, it's gonna push down diaper sausage that you just made, and then it will create another space for the next diaper. Then it's going to stop the smell. I heard good things and bad things about it. People, Some people really hate it, some people really, really love it. So we will see, but for now it's set up. Hey, no need to go in. And then I have another thing that was like the bottle warmer. I also quickly go, went through it, it's really easy to use, I don't know why. I never took the time to, to check them before. I just got in the mail uh, this few extra secondhand clothes that I ordered. Look how cute they are. <laughs> this is so small, this is like a one month. So cute. <laughs> Look at the color. Sleepers. But as it's kind of getting dark, I think I'm going to wrap this vlog up by showing you the the current progress of the baby's room here are the clothes to go out little jackets and i sort them from like small to bigger size here you can see it's pretty empty here are the stuffed animals some towels either big or medium ones and then some bath towel some blanket here is like a bag let's say a sleeping bag that can go on stroller mirror this is also for the stroller to hang the bag here are some of the toys that he already got uh, i got stuff that is for me traditional ingredients uh, for soups inside are the soup base i got some tea here are like well, for myself, after giving birth, the changing station, baby product, a little thermomat. One can go so cold in the water, so we will be using it for bath and for this room. Here I wrote out a little paper indicating what size is for which age. It was pretty confusing when I was sorting out his clothes. So as we are right-handed, me and my partner, we are putting the changing mat on the left side and having everything on the right side. In the drawer, everything is up to one month. Here are the pants, like a little t-shirt, socks, hats, and mittens. Here is the body, the sleepers, the pajamas, and then the swaddle. And the second layer is the same thing basically, but a bigger size. So here is the body, onesies, the pajamas, and then some comforter to do. So here is like up to three months, even bigger size. And last but not least, some more stuff. Well, I don't know how to say everything because I basically bought things that were recommended online. And yeah, I think that is it. So I'm going to wrap this vlog off here. It's actually taken a lot longer than I thought to make this video. Uh, we got some good news. We actually got uh, the house that we wanted. So we're really happy for that. We will be moving to our new place, like maybe in February, beginning of March. So that's so that's one thing that happened uh, in the past few days. And I think there might be a second part of this vlog. It's been pretty fun to set up his room, even though it's not completely finished, but everything is becoming more and more clear. So the lighting is really not ideal. I'm going to say bye to you guys. Thank you for watching and sticking until here. I hope you enjoyed the video and I will see you in my next video. Bye!